Boom. All right, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And once again, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. Rain's in the forecast for the next three days. So I'm thinking we work on the old deer stand slash off-grid cabin in the woods. Let's get to it. Last time we talked about putting a wall in right here with some type of slider. I want to frame this bad boy out, do a little bump out, a little pop out about right here, and have an opening about right here so I can slide a door this way. So you want to offset the framing and leave enough room for our actual 2x4 door. And nothing special, probably a good 36 inches wide, about right here. So when it's on this side, I can actually grab it and slide it across. I don't have a rail system, so I'm gonna put some wood down here and wood across the top to keep that door against the wall. That way, two handles, I can just grab it, boom, boom, padlock here, padlock on the inside. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What are we looking at here? We're looking at 88 and a quarter, and two by four is not actual two by four. It's like an inch and three quarters by like three and three quarters, somewhere in there, three and a half. So we're looking at three and a half, we're gonna hit this. So I'm gonna have to cut that off right there and then notch it and we should be in business. So the doorway was going to be on the far right, but I changed the design that way I get airflow going in through these windows and out the front door. But here's the best part. I divided it in thirds, so if you look at it, it's equal parts. So a door can slide this way or this way, and we should be in business. So to finish this wall, I need to cut four more pieces at 68 inches. Two of them going to stick on opposite side of the door and create like a double stud or a king stud where they're two together to strengthen the doorway, and then one opposite of that on each side to finish my wall.
This is my new go-to survival hatchet from Hardcore Hammers. I dropped a midweek video on this probably about a month and a half ago. If you haven't seen it, check that bad boy out. If you're interested in this, check out my description box of this video or several of my videos. Look for the Hardcore Hammers link. Click that bad boy. Use this code right here for free shipping site-wide. Wall framing is up. Nothing special on the outside. Going to be half inch thick plywood. I want to work on that sliding door. I'm going to have it slide from the inside. So we'll build that right now, toss it on there, put a track on there, and then cover it with the half inch plywood. And then move on to the next thing. Um, but real quick, touched on midweek videos. Midweek videos are back. We're at number 10 right now. They drop between Wednesday and Thursday. Most still seem to miss. A lot of people tell me, you need to go back to skills. I go back to skills and no one's watching the skills. So YouTube now only notifies 1% or less. So after 14 years, it should be no mystery. I'm dropping my videos on Sundays. I'm also dropping midweek videos between Wednesdays and Thursdays. So you gotta search for them. Just go to my channel and search. You're missing quite a bit of things. Um, this last week, I dropped it on Thursday and it was five unconventional ways to start a fire. We use things like gunpowder, pool shock, ping pong balls, things like that. Things that you have at your house, but you don't even normally consider using. So check that bad boy out. Now, let's get back to our project. Right here, I'm gonna put an outlet. So one and done, simple. That's gonna screw into there like so. I'm gonna pound it into the stud right here. I'm gonna take this eight foot pigtail. We're gonna wire the bottom of this outlet. Then I'm gonna wire the top of it to go up. I'm gonna wire it to a light where I pull a string and it comes on and off. From there, we're gonna splice in and go to the opposite wall from me, exact same spot, but directly over here and put another outlet. So the pigtail can be plugged into a gas generator, diesel generator, or in my case, a solar power generator, giving me power into my outlet, into my light, and into that outlet. Down the road, we'll come back and splice into this light to another light over here, and then down to an additional outlet. But my point is, this is very simple. White is white, black is black. Green, in most cases, is a ground, and we're gonna connect them all up. And I'll show you how to do that, and we'll be good to go. Flipping the outlet over, we have brass, silver, and green. So on our pigtail, we have white, black, and green. Green is the ground, goes with the green. Black goes with the brass. And white goes with the silver.
temporarily we're running the wire right here at some point and may want to drill a hole in this or run it inside i don't know yet i just want it simple and done quick so i have light in here white with white and we'll put a cap on that bad boy right here and splice them both together lock it down and then we got black with black and then we'll plug her in and try her out Set it to AC, and we're in business. And then plug her in. And boom, we're in business. Now we can test our outlets, and light is green, trap is clean. That's so simple, even a small child can do it, okay? It's not rocket science. White with the silver, black with the brass, green is the ground, and you saw me hook them up in a chain. We're talking about a solar power generator, a gas power generator, a diesel power generator. We're not dealing with power lines, we're not dealing with the circuit breakers, we're not dealing with a power box in your basement that goes to power lines, you know, from an actual power station somewhere. The risk of fire and shock are a minimal, and someone's gonna say it, well, if it's that close, you can just take your battery power and stick it inside. I could, but then how do I charge it? If I'm running gas or diesel, do I want the fumes inside? I don't. I want that pigtail to plug into an extension cord that I could run a diesel or a gas power generator 20, 30 feet away, because I don't want to hear the noise or smell the fumes, or put my power station out in the field and charge it up. So until I get a box, I'm just gonna mount it like this. We'll come back at a later date, put a box in here, put the wires inside. I'm just going to screw it in here for now. Boom, there we go. Here we go, Bush's Baked Beans with Maple Cured Bacon, Hamburger Meat, and a Hint of Mustard. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. Ah, and a piece of bacon right there. Wow, all cooked in a 120-year-old skillet, a cold handle skillet, a cowboy skillet, by the way. And you know what that means. The Etsy shop is open. Once again, my Etsy store is open. Go to the video description box, click on my Etsy link, then good luck. We have a military harness, military surplus gear, mess kits, cold handle skillets, frog gigs that are forged by yours truly, hat patches, bag patches, and a whole lot more. And more great things to come. So once again, video description box, Etsy link, click that bad boy. I'm going to catch you all in a few. Mmm.
For those that missed this entire series or refuse to watch, what you just seen is where we started from. It was just a square box that's lifted off the ground about you know, seven or eight feet. And it evolved into this whole off-grid cabin in the woods. I wanted to push myself. I wanted to do things I hadn't done on film before and bring you guys with me. So here we are. Um, next video or two, we're going to insulate this bad boy, put a door on the front, wood-burning stove, and then we're set for deer season. The last thing on the exterior, I might do an awning in the front, and I definitely want to shoot two beams out with a T-bar across it so I can hang the deer and process that game. So look forward to that. Um, right now, I'm going to get firewood. Probably no fire tonight, just maybe a small one so I can just unwind, and then we'll regroup in the morning. It'd be dark in about an hour, so I need to get this stuff done before you know I start chasing my tail. So on that note, catch you all in the morning. Finally cooled off around midnight, but honestly, it's probably still about 70 degrees. So, on that note. No fork today because I failed. But we have a nice stick from the ground that we're going to use. I look at it like this the amount of shots I got in the military. <sighs> Nothing can stop me. Mm. Cut you all a few. At the end of the summer, when it cools down a little bit, I'm going to start filming for my online classroom, okay? Which means that you guys will be able to go to a site and basically have a full course with me on whatever the topic is. Let's say it's intro to camping. I'm going to show you everything you know about that. Or let's say it's, you know, my idea of what a basic class should be. You know, you'll be able to take that. And the point of this is not to take away from schools. It's to give you long distance education. You can't afford it. You're done. You're reached your limit. Your kid's in college. You cannot afford to drive or fly somewhere to an actual school. You can get an idea of what a school could be, but do it online at your own pace. Um, I'm a firm believer that after COVID hit, you know, long distance education is where it's at. Um, now, don't get me wrong, with that said, Nothing will ever take away from or replace one-on-one -on -one training in a classroom. You can ask questions. Someone can see what you're doing wrong. That's the ultimate, and it will always be number one. But a lot of people can't afford that. So coming up with some type of simplistic, organized curriculum that you would adhere to online and allow you to do it have it graded, you know, send you a patch or a certificate or something special that, hey, I did this, you know, that allows you to work from home. Why not? Ah, on that note, more great things to come. With that, all of you my videos can be found at three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corpus Corner merchandise, that can be found on my new Etsy page. All three links can be found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.